Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part 3 of our third playthrough of RimWorld Alpha 15. God, that's a lot of numbers. Uh, we are just finishing day 9. So we've been here a little over a week. Winter's almost over. We're almost in spring. Which means we'll be able to switch the heaters off and keep the coolers on. Like, why not call it an air conditioner, you know? Cooler. You know what? I don't know if this is an English created game. Like, the devs speak English? If that makes any sense. Or are native English speakers. Maybe air conditioner is trademarked? I don't know. That'd be weird, right? Oh, go Linda! She's just chopping away. Oh, I like that. So by the time everyone else gets up, there's plenty of wood to build with. That's real convenient, actually. Getting more traders. More trader caravans will come to visit you if you've allied with more factions. If you have no allies, no caravans will ever visit. You can also pay allies to send trade caravans by calling them on the comms. So... Alright, so we're friends with three. Village at the mountain, village at the river, and Hope's Desert. So we have a desert, a mountain, and a river. Got it. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen nearby. Oh, and these people are just awful. <gasps> oh my god, it like fell on. Alright, we gotta deconstruct that to build around it. I wonder if that had been built. Oh no, every colonist of the female gender winces. We have an all-female colony. So that means everyone's going to be in a bad mood. Uh, oh, I wonder if that would damage the structure, if it fell on the structure. That's what I was trying to say before <laughs> I got distracted. You know what, guys? I think we might need another solar panel. It doesn't look like it, they're, the batteries are charging quite as quickly. Because we have a lot more lights and stuff now. And the coolers, or the heater. Still only have one alpaca. What happened to the other alpacas? Do we still have the tame thing on them? Oh, look at all the spacecraft chunks over there. Do these deteriorate? They don't. Okay. Can animals leave the map? It looks like that's what. Oh, there's one over here. Someone go tame that alpaca. That's a female, but it looks like the other one's left. That's also a female. Okay, so they can they can come and leave. Speaking of which, like entering and exiting a map, I swear I would love nothing more than for this game to be multiplayer. And you like you play in a server, like like you know the map in the beginning where you pick where you want your starting area to be. Like every single one can be play claimed by another player, and then you can like go on expeditions and trade with other camps, like stuff like that, ally, maybe maybe like lead a group of bandits and raid other players, do like a PvP element, I think that'd be so cool. <gasps> There's a cobra. Cobras are awful. Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun? No. Alright, seriously, someone kill the cobra. I don't know, we'll leave it alone. Sometimes cobras will attack Like your dog or your your pack animal. I just hope it notifies us. Well, everyone's gonna lose their shit because of the stupid psychic drone.
Linda needs to cut more trees. She is a higher threshold. God, I hope the psychic drone goes away soon. It's gonna make things complicated. Oh, I didn't realize we had started to harvest potatoes. That's a good yield. She's taming an alpaca. Oh, they are here. They're over there, okay. Oh, heat wave, no. All right, we are disconnecting that, turning the AC on stat. And then where's the mad animal? A local rat. All right, at least it's just a rat. Is it even gonna attack anything? Oh god, it's in the house! Lumi, go save everyone! Run, Aletta, run! Lumi, shoot it! Point blank! Whoa, way to miss. There we go. Oh, that was smart. They ran in their rooms to hide. Cowering. Oh, cool! Oh, you know what? There's a way for me to tell who to run and fight, isn't there? So Lumi and Linda are gonna fight, but everyone else is gonna run. It's cause we gotta finish this wall so this can be cooled. Oh, it's so hot. This is what happened last time. Everyone died of heat stroke. Remember, guys? Okay. Okay, wall's finished. It should start getting colder in here. Hopefully. Oh my god. God, the meat is getting destroyed because the freezer isn't working. It's so damn hot. We might need a second cooler. For the just for the heat wave. And cause the area is so much bigger. Let's put it right here. I think I might put a door there. Like a second door outside. Oh, there's no roof. That probably factors in a lot. Whether or not a space is sealed, like airtight. We out of steel? I think we are. Which means we can't even build a second cooler. It's gonna be bedtime by the time they get there. Maybe they'll at least finish what they're doing. Oh, I like that they're talking to each other. Alright, Calhoun, go to bed. Go sleep in the AC. Kind of. The kind of AC. Calhoun, you're gonna... Alright, it's kind of starting to cool, little by little inside. Am 
My question is, like, will she go inside if it gets too hot for her? And also, does that have to reach 100% heat stroke initial? All right, it's starting to get cold. It just takes a while for once everything's sealed off for it to cool, I guess. So why is everything still ugly? Oh, it's because it's dirty. You know what? Well, let's do a couple of bills for art. Make a couple small sculptures to stick in people's rooms to beautify them. Calhoun. Is it just because she's hot? Oh yay, we tamed another alpaca. Alpaca 4? Oh god, we've been taming lots of alpacas. I just haven't assigned them to the home area. Oh, we have two females and two males, so we'll have baby alpacas real soon. Oh good, they're gonna build the second cooler. Cooler? Oh look, they're making love! Alright, we need a hay field. We have enough animals to justify having one. Let's make it a big one. Hay grass. And they'll just eat it right out of the field. because there's a hole in the wall now. Need materials. What do we need? More steel? Oh, I guess so. Does it tell me what we need when I hover over it? Yep, more steel. Damn. There's gotta be a steel deposit nearby. Bam, look at that. Don't mind that. Whoa, okay. A construction engineer named Smithy Massey calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates from the convict party. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, he is 40 years old. Be warned, if you accept, you'll have to fight off the pirates on his tail. Let's do it. Let's get another... Let's hope there aren't too many people on his tail. I wish you could see what their stats were before you let them join. Alright, so he, he can build and that's about it. He's kind of useless. It's too late. He's already, <coughs> he's already joined. Alright, Linda and... Where's Lumi? Same in an alpaca. Go ahead, find cover. I don't think they have guns yet. Oh, they do have guns! What does he have? He has molotovs. Molotovs are the biggest pain in the butt ever. Oh, she hit the monkey. No, Linda! I didn't think there'd be this many people. Nope, keep firing at him.
Keep firing. Lumi, come on. Alright, let me get Linda get the hell out of there. Oh no! Alright, Calhoun, go rescue Linda. They've decided to kidnap who they can and leave. <gasps> oh, Lumi, come on, hit him. Hit him, Lumi. Oh, okay. Alright, Calhoun. Keep rescuing Linda. Oh, no! Come on, Lumi. Oh, my God. He's almost at the edge of the map. <gasps> no! Oh. Goodbye, Linda. Damn it. All right, this fire is gonna go crazy unless, unless we make it part of our home area, then they'll automatically extinguish it. All right, where, he can't firefight because he's useless. I should just said no guys. Oh, and she can't firefight either. Oh God. Oh good, it's raining. That could have been real bad for us. Oh, Chinchilla got caught in the fire. Damn. That sucks. It was a one for one and it was not an equal trade because he's garbage. Can't cook, can't fight fires, can't do anything smart. He's just a builder. We already have plenty of builders. I'm gonna do art, I guess. Man, man, oh man, oh man. I think the heat wave is starting to end, maybe. I don't know. Can anyone mine? Everyone can mine, yet yeah, no one's doing it. Oh yay, Smith, go mine. Uh, who's the teacher? Not you. Calhoun. Need another fighter. Oh, finally. up the insides. Alright, everyone go on a cleaning spree. Do some spring cleaning. Cleaning. Yep, I guess so. Oh, our power might not last through the night. Oh, thank God the heat wave is over. Oh, 
Oh look, now it's like freaking cold out again. After I put all that effort into building a second cooler. Maybe it'll get warm enough during the day. Are you kidding? We will prepare, then attack. Oh, they have a gun. I think those are the same assholes that stole Linda. God damn it. God damn it. Where are they gonna prepare? Down there. Alright, Lumi. Whoa, Lumi, where, where are you? Go hide behind that tree. Calhoun. Uh, go. No. Yeah, go there, I guess. I should probably build some sandbags at this point, too. Minor break. Alright, they're beginning their assault. Okay, good, so they are coming. Come on, Lumi, hit him. If you don't hit him, you're not gonna aggro. You hit the stupid bird, Lumi. Headshot, nice. Oh, he's running away. Oh, we need to... We can capture him. make this room temporarily a prison. They steal one of ours, we're gonna steal one of them. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, use whatever medicine you need. Dislikes men. No, oh, Hubbard's decision. He is actually a she. Cooking, construction, Another, it's another body, I guess. I don't know. I'll do chat and recruit. Even though his friend is right there, dead, dead on the ground. Alright, it's getting pretty hot outside, so the coolers are still working. What? It still tells me when she dies because they captured her and they didn't treat her? That's terrible! No, Linda! We'll always remember you, Linda. <laughs> okay, that's connected. I couldn't tell. Oh, man. This is cray-cray. What happened to all our potatoes? Gambina? She ate the dead chinchilla. <laughs> you know, Bambina, you're useless. I don't care. Ah. Oh, of course it's a cobra. Alright. Lumi, you're up. Get out there and shoot that thing. Oh god. Nice, Lumi. One shot. One shot. One kill. I'm not that great with impressions, guys. Alright? Okay. Yeah. What do you 
need more steel. naked body in there. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Yeah, we almost have a bunch of cotton to make clothes for everyone. Oh, you know what? What did I... Manage outfits? No. Oh, I don't remember how to do this. Is that it? I think that's it. So that, that won't let them wear clothes that are too worn, because that gives them a negative mood lid as well. So at this point, I think I'm going to expand this hallway up, and it's going to go left, and go into the mountain. And that might be like a really big central storeroom or something. What? Who's, sh who's shooting? Oh, there's another cobra, I guess, that attacked the dog. Oh, was that cobra not dead? The one I shot last night? It's gone. What? <gasps> oh no! Someone put it out! Put it out! Oh, jeez. Permanent gunshot injury. <gasps> he got shot in the eye! Pain plus 33. Oh my god. Because we shot him in the head. We're, we're literally the worst, guys. We are literally the worst. All right, let's make some more pants for everyone. And we'll do t-shirts. We don't really need anything else because it doesn't get too, it's summer, it's hot. You don't get as much cotton as I thought you did. Wait, so do I have to replace the one that blew up? I do. Oh yeah, let's do a billiards table for sure. Billiards tables really help with joy. Until you can get like TVs. Well guys, I think this is where we're gonna end part three. Uh, once again, my name is Russell Tussle and this was part three of our third playthrough of RimWorld. We, uh, we lost Linda, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, but now we have someone named Smith who's completely useless. It's fine. And we may, we may recruit Hubbard, which is an interesting name. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.